what's up family this is Justaria Curry and I am the demystified herbalist and on my channel you're going to learn everything about the human body plant body and the unique synergy that exists between the two in a simple and easy to understand fashion now today we are going to be talking about herbal salves and some common issues that occur with using them and creating them and then I'm going to give you some um, troubleshooting tips and methods to kind of help you address common those common issues okay so let's get into it all right <laughs> so number one common issue separation of your ingredients okay um you know the herbal ingredients and the base can separate in the salve which result in an uneven or unappealing texture okay so one of the solutions or really i'm going to give you a few uh, to prevent separation is to make sure that you thoroughly strain the herbal material from the oil in order to minimize the amount of moisture that is in your salve okay you want to also consider using an emulsifier which is simply an additive that is used to help mix two substances that typically separate when they're combined okay um, an example of an emulsifier could be like a beeswax okay and this will help stabilize your mixture okay so once you do that you want to make sure you stir the salve very well as it begins to cool and solidify and this ensures that you have you know kind of like an even distribution um, throughout your salve okay and if your salve happens to separate another thing you can do is just gently reheat it uh, remix it again and then allow it to cool down again. That is also the benefit of a salve. <laughs> you know, it's forgiving for sure. All right. Another issue um, that could commonly happen is a texture issue. So your salve can either be too hard or too soft. Okay. Um, you know, too soft, meaning it could be runny, um, squishy, that type of thing, or it's way too hard and it's difficult to apply. Okay. Um, so achieving the right texture, it requires finding the right balance between the ingredients that you have. So if you want to make your salve just a little bit harder, just increase the amount of beeswax that you're using. OK, but if it's too hard and you kind of want to soften it a little bit, then I would say add a little bit more of your herb infused oil. OK, and so with this, you kind of have to experiment um, to kind of reach the desired consistency that you're looking for. Okay. You can also look at adding a small amount of shea butter or cocoa butter. You know, this can impact the texture as well. Kind of give it more of a smooth feel to it, uh, <laughs> rather than feeling like you're rubbing sandpaper on your skin. Okay. All right. Another common issue, um, that could happen is mold or any type of spoilage. Okay. So, if over time moisture is introduced to your salve or your salve didn't have any type of um, natural preservatives in it, it can develop mold or spoil. OK, so you want to make sure when you are preparing your salves that all of your equipment, your containers, they're clean and thoroughly dried um, before you make the salve. You also want to avoid adding any type of, uh, you know, water based ingredients and whatnot. Um, and I would consider using a natural preservative like vitamin E oil, or you can also use uh, rosemary antioxidant extract, you know, to just extend the shelf life of your salve. OK, and then when you're storing your salve, you want to make sure that you store it in a cool, dark place um, and use it within a reasonable amount of time. OK, now the fourth one, I'm going to give you a bonus one that tends to also some issues that kind of happen with salves also is incomplete herbal infusion and what this means is that you know you have gone about done your formulation with your particular herbs um, and now you're infusing them in the oil and for some reason you know the infusion isn't strong enough maybe um, you know the oil temperature wasn't what it needed to be in order to extract the properties from the herb and so when you put it in your salve your salve may lack the desired therapeutic properties okay so a solution to this, okay, and this will help you achieve a more potent herbal infusion, is you want to allow the herbs to steep in the oil for an adequate amount of time. I would say about several weeks, okay, and use the correct amount of herbs in proportion to your oil, okay? Um, 
it's very important that you do that. All right. And then you occasionally want to kind of shake your infusion or stir it um, through the steeping process so that you can kind of help maximize that extraction as you're pulling those properties from your plants. Okay. And then when you're finished, make sure you strain the herbs thoroughly from the oil so that you can avoid any type of moisture uh, that could get into your salve and could lead to spoilage, which is a no, no, no. So remember, herbal salve making can involve a degree of experimentation. You want to fine tune as needed. Okay, so just practice with it. You got this. All right. You have any questions? Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.